हेलो स्टूडेंट्स समग्र शिक्षा सिद्धिपेट प्रेजेंट्स आर वर्ल्ड थ्रू इंग्लिश क्लास सिक्स यूनिट सिक्स पेज सेवेंटी सेवन ए रीडिंग रिप वैन विंकल मेनी इयर्स एगो एट द फुट हिल्स ऑफ द कैट स्किल कैट skill mountains was a small village in the village lived a simple good-natured fellow named rip van winkle he was a kind neighbor ready to help anyone everyone in the village liked him the children of the village shouted with joy whenever they saw him because he played with them he taught them to fly kites and shoot marbles and told them long stories the only problem with rip was that he was very lazy he did no work on his own farm and just idled away his time his fences were falling to pieces his cow was going astray weeds grew on his farm rips constant companion was his dog named ulf to avoid work he would walk away into the forest with his dog page 78 one day rip just walked on and on and reached the highest part of the mountains it was late in the afternoon when he reached there tired after his long climb he lay down and began daydreaming it was soon evening and he realized it would be night by the time he reached his village suddenly he heard a voice calling out rip van winkle rip van winkle he looked around and saw a short old man with thick hair and a grizzled beard walking towards him with a barrel he made signs to help him carry the barrel rip hurried to help the stranger who caught his hand tightly together they reached a place where there were some more odd looking short men playing nine pins they were all dressed the same way and all of them had beards of various shapes and colors even though they were playing a game their faces were serious and there was silence the only sound was the noise of the balls which echoed in the mountains like thunder as rip and his companion reached them they stopped playing and stared at rip with a fixed gaze rip was really frightened his companion emptied the contents of the barrel into glasses and made rip drink it rip obeyed as he was trembling with fear since he was thirsty he drank a few more glasses and slowly fell into a deep sleep on waking up he found that he was 
at the place where he had first met the old man. He rubbed his eyes. It was a bright sunny morning. Page 79 Surely I have not slept here all night, thought Rip. He looked around for Ulf, but he was nowhere. Rip whistled for him. Ulf! Ulf! He then shouted. No dog was to be seen. Where has this dog gone? He muttered to himself. He began to descend the mountain to go back to his village. As he neared the village, he met a number of people, but he didn't know any of them. The villagers also stared at him equally surprised. Who is this man? said one. I have never seen him before, said another. Look at his long white beard and his wrinkled face. On hearing this, Rip stroked his chin and, to his astonishment, he found his beard had grown a foot long and it was all white. An old woman walked up to him and looked at his face for a moment. Then she exclaimed, It is Rip Van Winkle. Welcome home again, old neighbor. Where have you been these twenty long years? Adapted from the legend of Rip Van Winkle by Washington Irving.